Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, September 8th, 2014 by Gaia Blooming. Today we have a full moon in Pisces. So happy full moon! Um, our energy mantra for today is I am one, body, mind, spirit, soul. And so with this full moon in Pisces, which is happening at 6.38 p.m. Pacific, 9.38 p.m. Eastern, Pisces craves oneness and often finds himself, you know, looking for oneness in, you know, regular life, <laughs> the ordinary. But what we really, all of us, on a soul level, desire to remember our oneness, our union with the all that is, spirit, God, source, whatever you call it. And so today is about getting into the oneness of yourself, getting into the oneness of your body, getting into the oneness of your body, mind, getting into the oneness of body, mind, spirit, and then body, mind, spirit, soul, being one present and allowing that to take you into your healing. So this full moon is happening um, right basically conjunct almost exactly on Chiron retrograde in Pisces. And so this is bringing up deep wounds. Chiron and Pisces retrograde, we talked about really bringing up past life wounding and having to get into it and release it. So with this full moon shining a light, bringing its energy into Chiron, Chiron retrograde, we have a great day for diving into our wounds, our deepest wounds, whether you recognize them as past life wounds or just know them to be something that is in some way hurting you, holding you back right now in this life, this is the time to go in, bring in this sensitivity, bring in this psychic energy that this full moon is bringing and get in there and work with it. Bring it your oneness to it. Instead of pushing that wound away, pushing it deeper inside, embracing it and bringing it into the oneness of who you are. Showing it love, compassion. Pisces is a sign of compassion. And this, we can do it on a physical level. You know, the sun in uh, Virgo is bringing it on the physical level. So we may feel this wound on the physical level, but it also may be on this spirit soul level. So don't be afraid to get in either way and really, you know, bring lots of love energy to it. And, you know, I think today's a really great day to call on your guides, call on angels, and ask for their help with it. But just don't be afraid to dive in. Really, get in there. Um, so did you pay attention to your dreams last night? The moon, in the early morning, the moon is opposite Neptune, which or not an opposite, sorry, conjunct it, sorry, brain, um, the moon is conjunct Neptune. So this really can bring up our dreams. It can show us also some of our illusions, which can, again, point us to our wounds with both of these things. In our dreams, maybe some of these areas that needed healing that we weren't aware of may have been shown to us, um, or any illusions that, you know, we're walking down this path and it's kind of digging that wound a little deeper instead of, bringing healing to that wound. So pay attention to whatever you dreamt last night to see if it's bringing you any information into this. The moon is also going to be connecting into Saturn. And Saturn, Saturn in Scorpio, again, is bringing us deep, <laughs> deep into ourselves. It's bringing us deep into our root chakra, which is our survival. And I know there's quite a few of us who have had survival issues in our past lives. I mean, as far as we know, none of us ever got out alive out of any of our past lives. So there may be wounds hanging on in that, that realm, that area. So again, this will bring it up for us to see. Um, <clears throat> again, get into your own psychicness. Trust yourself. Be in the flow with what you're saying. I look back at my life and I see that I've actually always been in tune with my past lives, but when I was little, I just thought I had a really wild imagination. And now I know I had a really wild imagination, and I was very tuned in. So be willing to see yourself as tuned in like that. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something about that. Oh, the other thing, I tell my clients when past life work comes up that we're never going to know if it's true. 
we just know that it's some kind of story. So use it like Jesus used parables in the Bible. These are stories to help you with your current story. Anything that comes up as I've experienced with past lives is meant to help you work with whatever is going on for you right now. So don't be afraid to dive in and see what's going on with you. Past life, right now, and see how they connect. And if it doesn't come up past life, that's okay. Just be willing to go deep with yourself. Be present with yourself. Um, let's talk about the Sabian symbols for the full moon. So in the traditional Sabian symbol book, the Sabian symbol for 16 degrees is in the quiet of his study, a creative individual experiences a flow of inspiration. And so this is about your own inspiration. This is about your own guidance. And, you know, this reminds me also of the magic and the miracles that are coming with this full moon in Pisces. Pisces is about the mystical, the magic, the miracles, and bringing that into our daily reality, bridging the magic and the reality. So allow your own inspiration to take you into this place of the mystical, the magic, and, and see what happens with that. Pisces is deeply creative. And in the other Zodiac degree book, um, it says, Wine goblet in hand, a composer in his studio stares off into space. Coming back to himself, he begins to write down a new piece. And so this is talking about you tuning into your own muse. And I think today, tune into your own healing muse. And this may be through your creativity. You might find yourself writing it down. You may find yourself dancing or acting it out, painting it. There's so many different ways this can come forward. Allow it to be true to you. So one last thing, if you want to join us for GNO tonight, we are doing GNO right after the full moon. This is where we pull cards for the week ahead. Um, you are welcome to come, bring your cards, come pull cards with us, and then off air we pull cards for each other afterwards. So again, this is going to be in the energy of the full moon. This is happening at 7 p.m. Pacific, and so full moon energy is going to be rampant. It's going to be very psychic. It's going to be a great time to pull cards. Um, we post the link on our Gaia Booming Facebook page right before we start the show. So come join us. And the card for today is so perfect. Crystal card. I pulled Zambrite, which is all or oneness. And it's in celebration of all possibilities. The one takes on endless forms. What will it be? It is all. Can you recognize it? Can you love all the bodies of life and love even before you meet them? We are all. So... Dive into the oneness of all that is. Get into your wounds. Love yourself. And have a beautiful full moon in Pisces. Namaste.